Captivate makes it really easy for you to create custom courses for your iDevices. We have some great presets that you can start your course from. So no need to worry about what should be the dimension, what should be the size, what should be the, uh, the video parameters that I need to choose for creating a video for an iPad using Captivate. You have all of it inbuilt in Captivate. Let's take a look. So what you can do is if you're starting a blank project, which was going to be an interactive project, you can choose any of these options, which is iPad landscape or iPad pro, uh, uh, portrait. This gives you the correct dimensions which will fit into your iPad. If you're creating a video course, which uh, you're actually creating a simulation and then converting it to a video, or uh, you are recording an HD video demo using Captivate, you can use one of these presets. And all the published parameters are automatically selected for you. Let's take a look at how we can create one such video demo. So uh, for the preset, I will select uh, maybe an iPhone 4 video. So I have this uh, preset selected and now I will hit record. I will just record the video for a couple of minutes. Okay, so here I'm just showing uh, the Captivate video tutorials page and once I want to end, I will hit the end key. That will bring me to the edit mode and I've muted the audio so you won't be able to see hear my audio. If you think that the video is all right, you can click the publish button here or you can go to the edit mode. Let me just go and click the publish mode here. You will see that the preset for iPhone 4 is already selected. I don't need to set any of the values that are required for setting up my video right. Also, if you want to create a course from scratch using the presets, let me show you how you can do that. I'll just close this out and close this project. I'll have to go to the edit mode and I will close this project from here and I don't want to save it. So now I will start with a blank project using one of the presets like I want iPad landscape. I will do that and the course will be created. And I'll choose one of the themes uh, to do it. Let me add a couple of slides here. So I'll just duplicate the slides so that we have some three, four slides here. Once you're done with the course creation, just check in the HTML5 tracker whether there are any unsupported slides or objects. You have to be careful about that. There are some question types which are not supported. Let's try adding an unsupported object here. So what I'll do is I will add a rollover caption. And now after adding this rollover caption, when I go to window and I go to the HTML5 tracker, it exactly shows me on which slide this uh, caption is there and where, what is the name of the object. And if I go and click there, it takes me to that particular slide where I can go and delete that object out from there. And it uh, immediately updates in the HTML5 tracker. So you can do that easily with your courses so that you don't have any unsupported objects in your uh, published output. Once you're done with the creation and cleaning up of your project, you can go to file, click publish, and it takes you to the publish dialog. Now here under output format options, select HTML5 to publish your courses to uh, iPad. If you want it to be on both the devices like your desktop and your iPad, select both the options and it will give you a multi-screen experience where if you have a flash player installed on your device, it will play the flash version. And if you have uh, you do not have flash player installed on your device, it will play the HTML5 version. If you want to know more about it, look at the video pause and resume functionality and it will show you all the details and benefits of it. Once you are done, click publish and it will give you the HTML5 output which you can play beautifully on your iPad. Thanks for watching this tutorial.